and in the northwest London borough of Harrow, at the crack of dawn, Enforcement Officer Joe is just such a man. Flight tippers are they're a blight on society. They, they have no respect for the, for the area they live in, um, and they don't care, and they're very, very selfish people. Um, and I severely dislike them, um, and hope to capture as many of them as possible. Former taxman turned parking officer, turned football referee, turned waste enforcement evangelical, Joe uses the tried and tested zero tolerance on his patch. It is domestic household waste. It smells quite bad, there's rotten food. Oh, it's nasty. Um, you've got general food waste. What looks like we have some evidence. Unfortunately, the people, the clever people, have erased the label, scratched it off to try to prevent us identifying where the waste came from. They might think they're being clever. Is this soil nappies? You can see the maggots are starting to grow on it. Look, this is, yeah, soil nappies. But not clever enough for Joe. No, potentially there might be evidence in this. Perfect, perfect, this is exactly. So you've got a medicine package. It's addressed to a, a resident at a property not very far from here. After five years tracking down Harrow's waste criminals, Joe doesn't muck about. Nope. Pretty sure there's nobody at home, unfortunately. At this point in time, I'm going to issue them with a fixed penalty notice of £150 for littering. They have to pay the fixed penalty notice or be prosecuted. And when Harrow's investigation team recently found themselves dealing with an out-of-control fly tipper, this is the buy that's been going on nearly nine months. Um, it's just unacceptable behaviour. Kick the bag open, split it. This guy showed no, he shows no so total disregard for, 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 for everybody, for everything, anyone in the vicinity. Joe was the obvious choice of Grimes Sleuth. We started receiving complaints about nine months ago. Um, initially, our, our, the opinion was that bags were being left down, um, and the waste was being scattered by foxes. That, that's a public service road, and you've got a primary school, and parents and kids use that service road to walk up and down to get to school. There's been reports of dead rats in the service road because they've been run over by vehicles, and kids haven't to see that, plus the, the potential for, for, for germs and nastiness. We had a tip off from a local business that they had footage that showed that this act was being committed by a person. So we're looking at the footage of gentlemen, unknown gentlemen. You see him put down some waste and you see him scatter the waste right across the service road. This is, I mean, I've never ever seen anything like this in my life. He makes it, you know, you can see he clearly makes a deliberate attempt to disguise himself using a hoodie so he doesn't want to be seen. So Joe will need to find a way to catch his muck-spreading nemesis in the act. My aim is to, to uh, deal with this by way of the, the maximum penalty. In my opinion, this, this kind of behaviour deserves a prison sentence. Handling criminal fly tips like this is a huge task for councils across the country. 